Hi guys and welcome to the Football Cards and Stickers Premier League 2020 stroke 21 season. This is where we recreate every single game week uh, played within the Premier League by using six packets of the Panini Adrenaline XL Premier League uh, trading card collection free to apply for the first half, free to apply for the second half uh, of each encounter and any uh, cards pulled from a respective club will score an imaginary goal uh, for them in that encounter. Of course, lineup cards will be counted. Uh, however, logos and the invincible cards uh, do not count. After all the packs have been opened, we then have our final scores for each encounter in uh, the respective game week and we update the tables real time uh, to see who is leading the table and who is in relegation zones etc. So, welcome to game week 23 of the Football Cards and Stickers Premier League. So as you can see from the latest table in front of you, Brighton and Hove Albion lead the Football Cards and Stickers Premier League uh, by five points, a nice cushion there, uh, down to Fulham. Meanwhile at the bottom, Everton, Newcastle and Crystal Palace remain in those relegation zone places. Today's fixtures are as follows. Villa play Arsenal, Burnley entertain Brighton, West Ham are away at Fulham, Leeds entertain Palace, Liverpool play Manchester City, Man United play Everton, Newcastle at home against Southampton, Chelsea plays Sheffield away, Tottenham are at home against West Brom and Wolves entertain Leicester. So let's get this game week 23 underway. Here we go, three packs for the first, three packs for the second half. Who's going to grab the first goal? It goes to West Bromwich Albion away at Spurs. Hal robson Carnu has given them the lead. Uh, Roman Saiz has scored for Wolves. They're at home to Leicester today. Uh, we have an equaliser straight away, though, from Leicester through Ndidi. Uh, the leaders, Brighton, going well again. As you see, Dale Stevens giving them the lead at Burnley. Uh, Oxlade Chamberlain has scored for Liverpool in their home encounter with Manchester City. And Wolves regain their lead through Adama Traore at home to Leicester. Timo Werner opens the scoring in the Sheffield United Chelsea encounter. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the veteran Glenn Murray has given double Brighton's lead away at Burnley. Uh, Oba Femi has scored for Southampton away at Newcastle. Uh, Jack Cork has grabbed one back for Burnley, though, uh, in their home game against Brighton. Uh, Harrison scores for Leeds at home to Palace. And Granite Xhaka has given Arsenal the lead away at Villa. We have an equaliser through uh, Dubravka for Newcastle at home to Southampton. Uh, Davies has scored for Everton at Old Trafford there. Uh, meanwhile, Shane Long has restored Southampton's advantage uh, at Newcastle and leads double theirs uh, with a goal from Stuart Dallas at home to Palace. Uh, Declan Royce has opened the scoring uh, for West Ham away at Fulham. A drama Traore gets his second uh, and they lead Leicester by three goals to one just before half time Wolves. So on to the second half where we have John Fleck grabbing an equaliser for Sheffield United at home to Chelsea. Uh, Jay Rodriguez has scored for Burnley, uh, pulling Brighton back now, so that's two all. Uh, there's an equaliser for Fulham at home to West Ham, Cyrus Christie. However, West Ham regain the lead there. Uh, Wolves look in control of their game with a four from Morgan Gibbs-White. As Palaqueta has uh, restored Chelsea's advantage at Bramall Lane. Meanwhile, Armstrong uh, looks to put the game beyond doubt for Southampton away at Newcastle. Uh, Romain Sawyers has doubled uh, West Brom's lead at uh, Spurs. There's a goal for Leicester, uh, as you see there. Super. That's just one back, though. They still trail Wolves four goals to two. Burnley have turned the game right on its head now, as you see with another two goals against the league leaders, Brighton. Uh, they lead that game four goals to two now. Uh, meanwhile, Leicester really making a game of it now. Uh, it's Wolves for Leicester free with that goal from Schmeichel.
We have a third for Chelsea through Ziyech. Looks like they're going to beat uh, Sheffield United away. Uh, Jamal Lascelles has got uh, grabbed a goal back for Newcastle. It may be too late, though, at home to Southampton. Uh, there's a goal back for Spurs as well against West Brom. Uh, Struik scores Leeds third at home to Palace. Uh, meanwhile, there is an equaliser for Leicester, as you see there at Wolves. Uh, these games are never over. And talking of never over, there's an injury time equaliser for Manchester United at home to Everton through Harry Maguire. So the final scores for today are as follows. Aston Villa 0, Arsenal 1, Burnley 4, Brighton 2, Fulham 1, West Ham United 2. 2. Leeds 3, Crystal Palace 0. Liverpool 1, Manchester City 0. Manchester United 1, Everton 1. Newcastle 2, Southampton 3. Sheffield United 1, Chelsea 3. Tottenham 1, West Bromwich Albion 2. Wolverhampton Wanderers 4, Leicester 4. So as you see, uh, after Brighton's defeat at Burnley, uh, the lead now is down to three points uh, for Brighton at the top of the uh, Football Cuts and Stickers Premier League. Uh, Arsenal now in second, as you see, after their 1-0 uh, away victory at Aston Villa. And Burnley, the victors of Brighton, have moved up to third themselves. Uh, meanwhile, at the bottom, uh, after Everton's 1-1 um, all draw, I should say, at Manchester United, they've managed to scrape their way out of the bottom three. Uh, they're replaced by Sheffield United, uh, who join Newcastle and Crystal Palace in the relegation zone. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that Premier League recreation game week. Uh, if you have, make sure you smash the like button. Please consider subscribing to the Football Cards and Stickers YouTube channel. And of course, you can see the playlist uh, for all the games for this season above.